how are the permanent tissues the cells which are formed by apical meristem are differentiated into different types of permanent tissues these tissues have lost the power of dividing either permanently or temporarily classification of permanent tissue based on the constituent cells the permanent tissue is classified into two types simple tissue and complex tissue let us know about simple tissue a tissue with the cells of similar structure and function is called a simple tissue it is of three types parenchyma parenchyma and sclerenchyma how are parenchyma cells it is generally present in all organs of the plant it constitutes the ground tissue in a plant parenchyma is the precursor of all the other tissues parenchyma is a living tissue and made up of thin walled cells the cell wall is made up of cellulose parenchyma cells may be oval spherical rectangular cylindrical or stellate the cells are usually polyhedral with 10 to 12 facets parenchyma is of different types and some of them are discussed as follows in water plants the parenchyma found in the cortex region possesses well developed large intercellular spaces called air spaces this air filled parenchyma tissue is called parenchyma it helps the plant to float in water example nymphia and hydrilla the parenchyma cells that are stored with starch grains are called storage parenchyma example stem and root tubers in the petioles of banana and canna star shaped parenchyma cells are found these cells are called stellate parenchyma in green parts of the plants the parenchymatous cells have chloroplasts these cells are called chlorenchyma its important function is photosynthesis now let us see about colenchyma colenchyma generally occurs in the dicot stems in two or more layers below the epidermis these layers constitute the hypodermis it is absent in the roots of land plants it also occurs in petiole and pedicel it gives strength to young organs colenchyma is a living tissue it consists of more or less elongated cells which are polygonal in cross section the cell wall is unevenly thickened the thickening is confined to the corners of the cells besides cellulose the cell wall contains high amounts of hemicellulose and pectin colenchyma may contain chloroplasts and carry out photosynthesis colenchyma is divided into three types they are lamellar angular and lacinate colenchyma in the hypodermis of helianthus only the tangential walls of colenchyma are thickened and the radial walls are devoid of thickening this type of colenchyma is called lamellar colenchyma in the hypodermis of datura and nicotiana the cell walls of colenchyma are thickened at their angles this type is called angular colenchyma in the hypodermis of ipomia the cell wall thickening materials are deposited on the walls bordering the intercellular spaces this type is called lacinate colenchyma let us know about clearenchyma 
sclerenchyma is a dead tissue. The cells have lignified secondary walls. They lack protoplasts. On the basis of origin, structure and function, sclerenchyma is divided into two types. They are scleroids and fibers. The scleroids are different from fibers in the following respects. Scleroids are shorter whereas fibers are longer. Scleroids possess numerous pits as compared to the fibers. Let us know more detail about scleroids. Scleroids are dead cells. They vary greatly in shape and thickness. The cell wall is very thick due to lignification. Lumen is very much reduced. The pits may be simple or branched. Usually, scleroids are isodiametric, but in some plants they are elongated. They are responsible for the rigidity of the seed coat. The isodiametric scleroids are called brachyscleroids, that is, stone cells. They are found in bark, pith, cortex, hard endocarp, and fleshy portions of some fruits. Example, pulp of pyrus. The elongated Rod-shaped scleroids are called macroscleroids, that is, rod cells. They are found in the outer seed coat. Example, crotalaria. The rod-shaped scleroids with dilated ends are called osteoscleroids, that is, bone cells. Example, seed coat of pisum. What are fibers? Fiber cells are dead cells. They are very long and narrow with pointed ends. In transverse section, the fibers are polygonal with narrow lumen. The secondary wall is evenly thickened with lignin. It possesses simple pits. Fibers are supporting tissues. They provide mechanical strength to the plants and protect them from the strong winds. The fibers that are found in the seed coat of some seeds are called surface fibers. Example, cotton.